Hello and welcome to this Raid Shadow Legends video. In this video, I needed to come up with something pretty darn quick because I need to have a video once every week. So what I decided to do, because what I wanted to do initially I can't do right now, is I wanted to go over and show you how to fight the Fire Knight's castle. Now again, as with most of my videos, this is aimed at the beginner levels. And I have picked Fire Knight's Castle just out of the ether. I didn't really have a particular reason, other than it's one of the hardest ones to battle in some cases. Uh, you'll find a little bit of information online, but I haven't seen anybody do a video, which was another reason for me to do this. Although I am sure that there are other YouTube creators that have done a video. Alright, so here we are in the Fire Knight's Castle. And you can see that in my little, plum, my little stumbling around, I've managed to make it all the way to stage 14. So the first thing is to note the affinity of the opponent, the boss. In this case, uh, we are dealing with, I believe that's spirit. We have spirit, we have force, and we have magic. I don't know if I got, I might have that one wrong. I think this is force, that's spirit, and I don't remember that. And then uh, for sure, but I think it's magic. And then uh, this is Void, of course. Void has no, uh, there's no advantage or disadvantage over Void. Although it seems to me like the Void champions always get attacked the most and die the quickest, and I don't know why. So to beat this, what you need is something called Reflect. And as you start the game in the beginning, you will have two champions that you will probably find way too many of, so don't use them for food. You're going to want to use one champion at least geared up for Fire Knight's Castle. And then if you don't want any more extra copies of that champion, you can use that champion for skill books because you want to get the skills all the way up. I didn't do that yet. I'm still working on it. So this is one of them. This is the Runic Warder. And I do not have very good gear on him. His gear is about ready to be upgraded. Just these two right here. The rest, I think, is pretty well where it needs to be because he's an HP-based champion. I focused on HP. He, of course, needs a necklace. I don't have one right now. Um, I don't know if his ring's the best. Defense 5%. So if I had an HP ring, it would be better. But uh, that's what we have for right now. In his skills, I don't think I have any master. I have some basic masteries here, so let's go ahead and show you what his masteries are. So I've got a defense up and a max HP up. And I can't say that that's the best ones. I don't know those are the best branches. I'm still learning how to do the mastery. So he has these two here, which are irrelevant, because all you want him for is this. He's slow. And so you're going to want to get his speed up, and then you're going to want him to be able to do this reflect damage. This is very important. The heal is not so important, especially in more advanced levels, because it's not going to heal you very very much at all. You need, like, another healer. If you're trying to depend on him to heal you, you're going to be screwed. It's not going to help you out. Um, I guess I shouldn't have put it quite that strongly of a word, but it's not going to work out for you very well if you try to use him for healing, because uh, that's not going to do much healing. But the reflect damage is what we want, and there's a reason for that. Now, the other one that you can use is another very common, and I think you can farm this one, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember which level though off the top of my head, and do I still have him in my stash, yes I do, so if I take him out I can go here, is um, this guy here, which I believe is Fen Fenrir? Fenrir, and I don't think I have him all the way geared correctly yet, Fellhound, excuse me, um, no, he has he has better gear. I have been working on him. He isn't fully ascended yet. I still have to do that, and I have to check and make sure that his ring's the best. He's a defense base, so this needs to be a defense ring when I get a chance. I do have a defense 4%. I don't know why I've decided to not, maybe because his skills are based on attack, and so that's probably what I was trying to do. So I need a combination of an attack and defense ring. That's probably what's going on. He also has a deflect thing, and this is just the block, no, excuse me, Flameborn Vigor, and it's the same thing, although it's stated differently. It's a 15%, uh, first it starts with a continuous hill, which is the same, and then it's a 15% reflect damage, which is the same, but it's in a different order how they put it here. 
And again, if you get this champion, you're only going to have one, you're going to use them for the Fire Knight's Castle, then use the other ones to skill book them, don't use them for food. Now we're going to go in with the Dwarf. Anyway, he is the opposing affinity, so this should see it through. Let's go ahead and do a real quick fight and see what happens. And now you see kind of how the Fire Knight works, and you know a little bit about the things that you need to beat him. Speed uh, is not priority. Oh, I should, I should put it in the right priority. The things to beat the Fire Knight are going to be Reflect, Speed, and Heal Reduction. Uh, or, I should put it differently, Reflect, Speed, or Decrease Turn Meter and Heal Reduction. That would probably be a more accurate way of phrasing it. Focus on those three champions that can deliver those three and that work well together and synergize together and you should be okay. If you get all the login rewards you'll get Sile and she can do your resurrect and heal for you and she does pretty good damage if you equip her right. I think I've got her about right so you can see that she's holding up pretty well. But she may not work well with your particular team con uh, you know whatever your team is so you just gotta kind of see who works the best. So what I have in my team makeup is now he is going to be my Reflect. This one is my Heal and Resurrect. Um, that would be Sile of the Drakes. High Katoon is my going to be my Speed, giving me a Speed Boost. And also as my team leader, I don't know if it works in this particular dungeon. I didn't pay attention to that, but she does that Speed Boost anyway. Sile also occasionally does a Speed Boost. And then I have Martyr for the ability to counterattack, so when he hits, I get like an extra turn. So I have that, and then there, she's my heavy hitter along with uh, this guy here that I can't remember the name all of a sudden. It's just escaped me. I know it too. It's right on the tip of my tongue, and I just can't remember. Solus, yes. Yeah, they're my heavy hitters. They're, they're the big brawlers. They're, they're the tanks, I guess you could say, in my team. Although Sile's holding up pretty good on her own now. I should be able to beat this relatively quickly. So it shouldn't be a very long fight, but who knows. We'll see how things go. And again, I'm doing it on auto, which may not be the smartest move. There's probably somebody out there in the raid community shaking their head at me because I'm not doing the professional way or whatever it is. But this is how I choose to fight. Yeah, we're not getting the turn meter reduction just yet. If he gets off his wave of destruction at the right time, though, I think that does decrease the turn meter a little bit, but only if his shield is open, I think. Don't quote me on that, but if I remember right, he does have a little bit of ability to decrease the turn meter. Solus, I'm not sure. I need to verify that statement. Don't think anybody else really has much of that. If you have somebody that has a heal reduction, I don't know which one it is. Because he did get a heal reduction on, so now he's not going to heal. And you see how that works now, because when he puts the shield and attacks at the same time, or just before or after he attacks you, he does this healing thing. Well, if the heal reduction, he can't. Of course, now that's gone away, so he'll be able to heal back some of the damage that he's endured. And he still hasn't cast his Reflect yet, so it must still be on cooldown. Her turn meter, uh, this uh, Shamanic Lighting that High Katoon does is supposed to decrease the turn meter, but I never see it work. And I don't know if it's because I don't have her geared right, or if it's because it just simply doesn't work very well. Maybe it's very weak. I don't know. I haven't been able to figure it out. But I just don't depend on her Shamanic Lightning to do anything. She's only here for speed. It never seems to work for me. I've, I've hit her with, I've had her in the arena, I've had her with uh, campaign battles, I've you know, done her on the dungeon bosses, and I don't, I maybe once every in a blue moon I see a pinch of, uh, of the turn meter go down, that's what this yellow thing down here is, the red of course is the health, the yellow is the turn meter, but never a substantial amount. Okay, he hit, I think, with the Wave of Destruction, but it did nothing, unless that was Martyr's, so... Uh, no, that might have been Martyr's attack, I'm not sure. We did decrease his speed, so that will help a little bit. 
Anything that will decrease the dungeon boss's speed or will decrease their healing ability or shield, if they have a shield, or will decrease their turn meter. Anything that will help you to be able to take more turns and hit twice as hard than the boss can hit because you can hit twice as much, that's a good thing. You can definitely want that. Looks like we've got three heal reductions on him right now, so he's not getting anywhere with his health. And he's been slowed down for two more turns, it looks like. So that's going to help us a little bit, too. Notice how the debuffs are generally blocked when they hit when he has his shield up. His shield has to be open, I believe, if you want to have a lot of successful hits with the uh, debuffs. I can't guarantee that that statement is true, but I think that I get more successful debuffs on this guy when his shield is open than when it's closed. Now, he did get his reflect up, so you see that we've just easily now knocked this guy down and got his shield open again, and look where his turn meter is. Now we have a chance to do some serious damage, although his turn meter is not going down like I would like. But we can hit him a few times, there's his speed going down a little bit, and now he'll have more damage done than you can recover from. That's the key, because if you don't do enough damage to recover, you see how much you recovered right there? You don't do enough damage so that he can't recover from it, you're just going to be at this fight forever unless you get slowly worn down and killed. You either be at an impasse or you're going to be at an hour-long fight or whatever. I don't know if a fight could last that long, but it's just not worth it. Better to find the right team. And I can't guarantee that this is the best team. Again, there's probably a pro player somewhere out there laughing at my team makeup here, thinking that I should have picked somebody else. But for the purposes of this little video, and I think we're going to be coming up on 10 minutes, so we need to wrap this. So after this fight, we'll call it good. I think I've explained how to fight the Fire Knight. I think I've explained a little bit about what you need to defeat him and this will apply all the way up to level 14. If there's anything I've forgotten or anything that you would like to suggest, uh, if you've noticed my play style and you have a you want a commentary or you want to give me some feedback on it or suggestions, go ahead and post in the comments below. If you have any additional information regarding the Fire Knight for beginners that might make it a little faster, a little easier to beat, go ahead and post in the comments below. If you want more of these videos, click that subscribe button. Click the like if you like, the dislike if you dislike. I can't get better unless I know what you guys are liking or disliking. So give me some feedback and, you know, even if it's just a simple thumb up or a thumb down, hopefully it's more thumbs up than thumbs down. I have feelings too, you know. Um, that I have another video, hopefully, in, no, not hopefully. I will have another video another week. I have committed to this. So there's going to be a bunch of videos dropping this week and on this and my other channel. So keep an eye out for those. And I am going to go out and do another uh, Randonautica adventure. Not the furthest point that I had. If you watched my first Randonautica adventure video, I had two points. I can't do that furthest point yet. But I've got two other ones nearby that I'm going to go after. This is really crappy this reward here but I'm not going to complain because there's a summon rush on and I'll use that and I beat it so I'm not going to cry you know I got 9,000 silver and it's beat so now you see how that works you see how the fire knight works you see how to defeat it if you get stuck with the fire knight even if you have a reflect champion if things just aren't working for you again comment below I'll be glad to help you out I can do a follow up on this video if you need I think we're going to call that good for now I'll catch you guys later. Check out my other videos for some other cool stuff.